Uh, this is an issue that's going to cause, I think, widespread tax increases, widespread cuts to government services, or a mixture of the two is for the state of Illinois uh, when it comes to the unfunded pension liabilities uh, in the state. Uh, it's uh, going to be no surprise to uh, the taxpayers of Illinois that have seen this coming for a very long time. Uh, but looking at the most recent uh, report and the new numbers from the official state financial reports and then taking them into consideration with, through what we think is a much more reasonable lens through which to view state pensions, uh, and we see the liabilities are uh, truly in a, uh, a really a scary scenario for the for Illinois uh, for the future. Looking at you know nearly thirty seven thousand uh, dollars in unfunded liabilities for every man, woman, and child in the state of Illinois. As you mentioned, you know, second worst in the country. Uh, you also look at the overall unfunded liabilities, second worst in the country, uh, with uh, you know nearly a half a trillion dollars in unfunded liabilities in Illinois alone, based on our criteria. And then the other thing you look at, uh, funding ratio, Illinois second worst. Uh, and uh, then, uh, so I guess if there's something to be said, there's consistency at the bottom of the rankings for Illinois and all of the different categories we look at. Uh, Illinois is among the worst uh, in the nation. When you look at the states that have the lowest unfunded liabilities, let's say per capita, you know, many of those states have either moved to uh, make sure that they're making these annual payments as the defined benefit plans get more expensive. They just continue to appropriate more uh, taxpayer dollars. And there can be some real arguments over whether that's a wise use of taxpayer dollars or not, but they've just put the amount of money in to keep their plans at least relatively well funded. Uh, but then you look at places like you know Tennessee or Wisconsin or others that do well in our report. And these are states that have begun to share the risk and share the, the liabilities really for it's not just the taxpayers on the hook. If there's a downturn, let's say in Wisconsin, which is uh, at least in a percent funded ratio, the, the best funded uh, plan uh, in America uh, with over 60% funded ratio in, in our calculations, um, there is a way that uh, now uh, the risk is shared not just among taxpayers, but workers as well would need to increase their own con contributions to the plan if their investment returns fall short of their goal. Uh, and so we've seen some really innovative ways that states have begun to tackle liabilities, but it is an existential issue. And if states don't tackle these unfunded liabilities that now you know, total nearly $7 trillion around the country, uh, this is an issue that's going to cause, I think, widespread tax increases, widespread cuts to government services, or a mixture of the two.